Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Estela Casas. Thanks for choosing Nine News Now. Early voting is officially underway, and many El Pasoans have already cast their vote. But if you're planning to head to the polls before Election Day, there are a few things you need to know. Diana Castillo joins us live from the Doris Van Doren Library with some important information. Diana. Well, Estela, this is one of 33 early voting locations across the county. And as you can see, there is a line right now. Now, I will say we were here a little bit earlier. I want to say like 1230, and it definitely looks busier now. Now, if you are worried about the lines, if you are worried about the lines, county officials with the El Paso County Elections Department say while you may see long lines, especially the first few days of early voting, there are a few things you can do to make the process easier. Officials say you can use the My Voter Dashboard, a tool on the Elections Department's website where you can monitor wait times at each location, which are updated every 30 minutes. And if you're heading to the polls, bring your documents with you. We also want to remind voters that in Texas, you have to bring one of the seven acceptable forms of uh, photo ID in order to exercise your right to vote. And what are the most common forms of ID? A Texas driver's license, a Texas personal ID card, as well as a U.S. passport. Now, key races include El Paso mayor, six city council seats in El Paso, district attorney, El Paso county sheriff, and five bond initiatives, and not to mention the presidential election. Now, remember, early voting ends November 1st. Now, each location will have a different closing time. This one specifically does close at 7 p.m. this week. Now, reporting in West El Paso, Diana Castillo, KTSM 9 News. Okay, Diana, thank you. And the county's election department will have updates on wait times on social media for a list of early voting locations and a comprehensive election guide visit ktsm.com early voting as you under no started november 1st and ends no ends november 1st and election day is november 5th well, all schools in the El Paso School District will be closed November 5th, Election Day. The district says a closure is precautionary since some of the campuses will be used as voting sites. It also gives employees and students the opportunity to vote. 